Back with us once again is Chuck Norris, actor, martial arts expert, and author of the best-selling... <laughs> I think he's making fun of me. Come on, Norris. No. This, Come on. This is calm me I'll down, take you on. I'm calmer now. I'll take you on. This is calm me down. Oh, crap. Nope. <laughs> nope, this is calm Don't me screw down. Don't screw with so. me, Norris. Don't uh, do no, it. No, I'm, I'm not screwing with you, Glenn. Truthfully, this is what I do eat. Honest, <laughs> honest to God, I do. I you really know what do. it is? This is like nature's Prozac. Well, not nature's Prozac, but pretty close to it. It's got sugar in it. I think sugar is made by God. I'm not sure. But, okay. but, now, uh, but seriously, Glenn, we do need a fair tax in our country. We need a fair Tell me tax to get, the, to get the three million manufacturing jobs that are being outsourced to other countries, yeah. to bring them back into our economy. The $17 trillion that are being hidden in offshore accounts by the super rich, they could bring that all back into our uh, economy. And so, then, so the fair tax is what Chuck, I want you to get involved in. Chuck, they're never, I'd love to. Thank you for inviting me. Tell me this. Okay. They're never going to do it because then they lose their, they, they, look, when you, once you get into office, all you care about is getting reelected. That's all you care about. And to get reelected, you need to do special favors for everybody. So you lose your well, ability to is, do special yeah. favors. Yeah, but Glenn, that's just what you're saying, is the people have got to make this happen. Government's never going to do it. The thing is that we, the people, have got to be the ones that make these changes let me ask, in our country. Let me ask you this honest question. Do you think the people of the United States are courageous? I, I've got a monologue on this tomorrow on, the, on tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow night's television show. Yes, I do. Do you think, think we're courageous, courageous enough stuff. and responsible enough to mm -hmm. take control of our own lives and our own country now. Well, the thing is, why is your show such a high-rated show, Glenn? Because the people are concerned about what's going on in our country. They're listening to you. You're our crusader. <laughs> and they're listening to you. That no, just I'm, shows I'm how low our I'm standards being, are. Hey, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm being serious here. I'm being serious, Glenn. <laughs> You are, you, you are the crusader that we're all looking for to help make these positive changes in our society. And someone's got to get, someone has to lead the pack, and I really believe you're the one that's leading the pack. Well, uh, and, and I'm serious about this. Well, I appreciate that, um, but I, I will tell you this. Um, I, I just, I talked to my radio audience today about this, that, that everybody has to find their own voice because we are entering times where where you have to know as an individual what you believe in and you've got to unite with your own family and neighbors and everything else you know we're doing a special on March 13th on the yes um, I do know on the on the yes. values and the principles that's what the, you just need to bring your neighbors together and you need to bring your friends together and you need to start meeting and talking about the news and how to solve the problems that we're facing and and what do we do to be able to restore our country well, the thing is that, that we have to lead these people toward that, Glenn. The thing is, it's, uh, you know, we've had such poor leadership for so long in our country that we've got to get back to some strong leadership yep. uh, that, uh, that believe in the same principles right. we do, Glenn. And, and we don't have that yet. And, and that's why, you know, I, uh, you know, I have a joke, uh, Glenn. You know, these Chuck Norris facts that are circulating throughout the, uh, the world. I don't know. Uh, one of the Chuck Norris, do you ever heard of him? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> well, I hear anyway, your, tears cause, uh, your tears cure cancer. Too bad you don't no, cry. No, li no, 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 no. Listen, uh, Chuck, uh, America's not a democracy. It's a Chuck Tatorship. Mm -hmm. Now, if that was true, if that was true, I would go to Washington. I'd line up every member of Congress. And I have Ron Paul, who I believe is one of the more honest men in Washington. Mm -hmm. I say, Ron, point out the honest politicians <laughs> and the dishonest politicians. I don't know that. And as we're walking down the, as we're walking down the line, yeah. he say, he's honest, he's honest. Now, uh, he's, uh, he's dishonest. I'd walk up to him and I'd say, you're fired. And if he didn't move immediately, I'd choke him unconscious and drag him <laughs> over to the okay, pile. Okay, okay, all right. Chuck Norris, <laughs> thanks a lot. We'll talk to you again.